Happy day, YouTube. Mm. So I'm a, I'm a terrible historian. My mother is always reminding me of that. I'm well aware. I would have been awful at that job. But. More nature talk. So yoga, my yoga journey. How did I come to yoga? How did yoga find me? How did I find yoga? The reality is that yoga saved my life. It, and I don't say that lightly. If it weren't for yoga, I don't. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be here today. It saved my life. And I have a lot of good friends that can attest to that. They would agree. It saved my life. <laughs> Um, it continues to every day but so in 2008 2000, yeah it was 2008 I was in a car accident um, I was hit by a drunk driver she hit me from behind and then my car went about 50 feet and smashed into a brick building and my car was demolished honestly i blacked out i just remember i remember this moment of just I said to myself, let go. I totally became like a limp noodle. I just remember just like letting go and, um, and then everything was, and then I woke up and I thought my car was on fire, but it was actually the airbag had gone off and it was all the, the dust from the airbag. But I mean, I thought that I had hit something. Technically, I did hit something. I hit a brick building. But I was so confused and I woke up. When I woke up from that car accident, I was stuck in my seatbelt. And I couldn't get my seatbelt off. And I thought the car was on fire. So I was in like a panic thinking I had hit something. And I couldn't get the seatbelt off. And I grabbed my cell phone to dial 911. I dial 911 and it says number cannot be dialed. Ding ding ding, you know, and and I'm thinking, what the fuck? I can't even dial 911. Apparently, I don't know if it's that way now, but apparently you have to dial 1911 to get to emergency services from a cell phone. But so I mean, I finally got my seatbelt off. And I get out of the car and there's this woman standing in the middle of the road, like screaming at me. And I thought, and I was, and I didn't realize that someone had hit me. I thought that I hit something, but then it occurred to me that this woman was drunk because she was totally staggering and wasn't making any sense. And I was totally disoriented, <laughs> but she was immediately arrested because she just flunked. I mean, she couldn't even touch her, her nose. She was so drunk. Shit-faced drunk. Don't drink and drive, people. Don't do it. It's not worth it. But as a result of that car accident, I had a severe shoulder injury and a twisted spine and was in excruciating pain. For about a year, I remember waking up, like, I mean, it was hard to sleep. Everything hurt. Like, it was excruciating. And I would wake up every single day, just like my right shoulder was like, oh my God, I'm going to die. <laughs> like, I couldn't lift anything. I couldn't, I mean, it was awful. Oh. And I didn't know what yoga was at this time. I had no clue. But... A friend of mine kept saying, you should try yoga. You should try yoga. And 
he convinced another friend to do a free yoga class. And so I went and my very first class, I felt immediate relief from the pain in my shoulder and my spine and more relief than I had gotten from the doctors and chiropractors and all these people I was going to to try to fix my mangled spine from that car accident and I was hooked. I have literally done yoga almost every single day of my life since and it's made me a completely different person in very, very good ways. I'm grateful for that. So that's how I found yoga. And if it weren't for yoga, <laughs> I'd probably be in a mental hospital like twiddling my thumbs back and forth. I mean, it's like, it's, it's the only thing that keeps me sane in this chaotic world and reminds me to breathe and stand up straight and to love. Yes, love yourself and love others. So when I started my first class, I couldn't touch my toes. You know, I, I was so out of shape and in so much pain, but I stuck with it and good things came of it, you know? So if you're struggling with any sort of back problems, you know, spinal stuff, any of that stuff, or even head stuff, you might consider yoga. You might consider it, but you know, if you've never done yoga and you try yoga, stick to the gentle stuff, you know? Stick to the, the yoga with love. With love, y'all. Ah, I hope you're having a beautiful day. Spend some time in nature. Namaste.